Now, in a massive development, all of the killers of Rajiv Gandhi have been released. The Supreme Court ordered the release of the final two convicts, uh, Nalini and P. Ravi Chandran. The top court noted that they are being uh, released prematurely because of their satisfactory conduct. Remember, in March this year, Perari Valan, another killer, had been released. All right, uh, Mr. Karthi Chidambaram is with us on the phone line. Mr. Chidambaram, your first thoughts now. See, the law permits early release. I have no fundamental problem with it. But uh, if um, but this principle of law must be applied to other convicts and all other cases as well. But under no circumstances should the assassins of, uh, of our former Prime Minister, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, must be celebrated. This is no reason to celebrate them. They are convicted assassins. It was a dastardly act against the nation. And a leader, a former Prime Minister, was assassinated. Under no circumstances would any celebration of these people would be tolerated or acceptable. How do you assess when Nalini claims that she's innocent in an interview with our managing editor, uh, Zaka Jacob? I, Nalini I, I, has just I, I, claimed I, I, I that she's innocent. I can't comment on that. She's been, they, all of them have been convicted by competent courts of law. None of them have been acquitted. All of them have been convicted. But if the law permits convicted life convicts to be released after a certain length of time, I, I have no problems with that. And it, But that same principle must apply to life convicts in other cases as well, not only in this case. It must be equally applied to other cases as well. But again, I reiterate, the assassins of Rajiv Gandhi cannot be celebrated under any circumstance. Thank All you. right. They, they're not being celebrated. But the court has been very clear that their conduct, in fact, called for release. That they were satisfied with the kind of conduct that, that was that, being that, observed. Like I said, I've again, again, I'm repeating myself. I have no problem with their release if the law permits it. But post their release, if there is any celebration of them, that will be an assault. On the, on the integrity of India, on the idea of India, and it will be an, an, an insult to the memory of Rajiv Gandhi. Also, would you like to comment on uh, the, the role that the Gandhis have played in forgiving uh, the convicts? I, I don't think so. This is, no, no, no. This is a purely a legal proceeding. Right. In India, there is no role for third parties to intervene in a criminal case. It is between the state and the person. Karthi, why I ask you this is because other members of the Congress Party no, have also, uh, have also the lauded the magnanimity. No. No, people might... I, I, I have no intention of forgiving the killers of Rajiv Gandhi. Let us be very clear about it. I personally do not have any intention of forgiving the assassins of Rajiv Gandhi. Please. Please. All right, but Rahul Gandhi in 2021 said that there is no anger. He has he's, forgiven. He's, he's, a far la he's, 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 a, he's a far more evolved and a larger-hearted person. I appreciate him for that. But I am setting my personal view. I am in, definitely not in any state of uh, mind or, or thought to forgive the killers of Rajiv Gandhi. I, I shall not do that. But if Rahul Gandhi has done it, that's his personal uh, large-heartedness. Uh, the release delay was challenged after Perari Valan's release. Uh, uh, do you think that Perari uh, Valan's release has had a crucial role to play in what has happened today? Of course. Of course. The, the courts, courts note by precedence. They say that the principle applied to him applies to others. It will apply to others. But all I'm saying is this principle must apply to all life convicts and other cases as well. It cannot. This case cannot only be looked at in isolation. This must apply to life convicts and other cases. There are hundreds of cases of life, con of life convicts in jail today. This principle must apply to them as well. But as I again saying, you, I have no co comment about, I have no quibble with the application of the law. All I'm saying is that these uh, convicted assassins cannot be celebrated. And I, have, I am definitely in no mood to forgive or to forget the dastardly assassination of Rajiv Gandhi. Right, but today's is not a standalone case as far as the convicts of Rajiv Gandhi are concerned. We know that this is something that has been uh, changing uh, over the past few decades. In 2000, the death sentence of Nalini was commuted to life and so was for uh, other convicts as well. Uh, no, this is, yes, this is, the, this is, a, this is, a, this is a, the, the release of a life convict is being released. All I'm trying to say is this must be applied to other cases as well. There might be other convicts in other cases. For, for, for murder and uh, who are in jail, who are, who are convicted for life. The same principle of law must, must apply to them. They can't, they can't be a different standard for, the, uh, for release for the assassins of Rajiv Gandhi and for other life convicts in other cases. That's all I'm trying to say. And again, why I'm do you say that? that Karti, my last question before I let you go. Uh, why do you say that there are other parameters for other convicts? Because of where is the where is the mass release of life convicts of other in other cases? And I, I don't know the statistics on top of my head. I'm sure there are uh, hundreds of life convicts and other murder cases in, in various jails in India. 
is the same principle being applied to them? Are they being released uh, in, uh, under the same principle? That's what I'm trying to say. This is something which the courts and the, uh, and, and the, and the legal fraternity must, must, must look into. The same. If they, I'm sure there are other cases, other mm. cases of murder, mm. other cases in which people are in jail for mm. life, uh, life on in jail. If they have served a certain length of time, if their behavior is they should also be released under the same principle. All right, many the thanks to you. The point is this. Let us, not, let, us, let, us, let us not celebrate the assassins of Rajiv Gandhi in any form or manner. This is not a vindication of them. This is not an exoneration of them. All of them have been convicted by various courts and over the years. So do not ever diminish the assassination of Rajiv Gandhi. I again ask you, what do you make of the statement when Nalini claims innocence? Then, then, then she should file a review petition and get her conviction overturned. Jima, I do not know. I think she's exhausted all her uh, legal remedies. She's been convicted in various levels of court. She claims she's innocent. Then she should then the entire legal process in India, the entire legal system of India of appeals have as a stale. So she should remedy it through whatever uh, legal methods. All right, Karthi Chitamra, many thanks to you for speaking to us here at CNN News 18. Let's go.